God bless you. One more time, we are preparing ourselves to meet up with the children from Great Hope Children's Home. They're in Nanyuki, Kenya. And today's lesson is going to be about the power of God, God's power, and certainly how we need God's power. So let's get ready to greet them shortly. Blessings abound. Can, can you hear me? Ah, there you are. Yep. Yeah. I was trying to connect to the speaker, with the bigger speaker. Oh, I see. Ah. Yeah, that's why it could not work at the moment. Okay, we'll try yeah. again next time. Yeah. That's great. That's great. Well, God bless you, Brother Paul, and to the children. Hi Hello, everyone. Hi. Ah. It is always such a joy and pleasure to see you. Well, at this time, again, we thank God for this opportunity to meet with you again, present a little message. I love to hear your singing. So we're gonna get to that. At this time, let's open up in prayer. Let's pray. Let's Dear God, we pray. thank you. God, we thank you for this day. We thank you for this time that we have together. God, we recognize that you have allowed this moment. And so we give you praise, we give you honor, we give you glory. Thank you for the children's home. Thank you for a safe place for them. And God, we continue to pray your blessings upon them. Thank you for Father John, Mother Mary, for Brother Paul, and those that care for the children. And now God, as we spend this time together, May the name of your son, Jesus, be lifted up. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. All right, Brother Paul, it's yours. Yeah, so thank you very much, Pastor. Yeah, thank you very much. We thank God for this other opportunity to meet you once more and to listen from you. We thank God for each and every moment. It's been a good week. We've been doing a lot of uh, working on the, the gas accommodation for the waters. We've been doing the guttering and and some people donated a tank. So you're doing the guttering and connecting it into the tank. So Beautiful. that when it rains, we can have some water. Wonderful. Water in the tanks. Instead of going up to the river, we just collect water from back home here. Wonderful. So we, we thank God for that also. And again, another good thing, we've already started bringing some materials for repairing the kitchen. Yes. And yeah, we, we've also got some new, uh, some new, we call them sufurias for cooking, the big ones, the big pots for cooking. Mm -hmm. And also, we're also going to be using gas instead of burning firewood. We are able to purchase a good, a good, uh, a good gas material for, for, for cooking. Wonderful. So very soon, I'm going to give you some good messages as we start off with the construction. Good. Yeah, so good. we thank God for everything. Mm -hmm. God has been faithful. He has been answering our prayers, and we thank God for that. Amen. That's why we have a reason to thank Him each and every moment, each and every minute. So today we have a song, we're going to sing a song and give the poem and then I'm going to hand it over to you. Okay. Thank you. 
children for the singing. I think the first song was a new song for me. Um, I don't think I've heard that one before. So definitely thank you for that new song. And then of course the song I am familiar with, I love you Jesus, you are my savior. Amen to that, amen. Again, thank you so much for singing. Now I, I will say the screen froze, but I kept on hearing you. So I didn't wanna stop you from singing. 
the singing sounded wonderful. And who was the who was the boy who was singing the lead at, of the song? Somebody was taking a lead. Of the who first the, song? The first uh, one? The new one? I think the first one. I think it was the first one. The new one. The new mm -hmm. song. It was Kelvin. Ke oh, Calvin. All right. Yeah. Calvin, good stuff, man. I was hearing you. Good, good. Wonderful. Well done. Well done. All right. All right. So let's have our lesson for today. <laughs> our lesson. Today, I want to talk about the power of God. The power of God. What we have to understand is that God has all power. I want you to repeat after me. God has all power. You say it. God has all power. That's right. That's right. If when you know that, then you look to God for everything. You look for God to tell you what to do, to strengthen you to do it. Now, sometimes in life, we get weak and we lose our own strength. I have here a cell phone and right now it's got power, but if I use it a lot, it loses its power. And what I have to do is plug it in to the charger. So I have to plug it in into the charger and then plug this into an outlet in the wall and it gets power. So if it was down to zero, if I plug it in, it'll go to 100. Well, that's the way it is with God. That when you and when I, we run out of power, we don't have enough strength, we can plug into God and get energy. Now, what do I mean by plug into God? I mean that we must go to God's holy word because in his word, we will get the power, the strength, the encouragement, the joy that we need to carry on. And so I want you to know that God wants to give you power because God is love. And when you know God, you know how to love right. Let me share a scripture verse with you. It is 2 Timothy chapter 1 and verse 7. It says this. For God has not given us the spirit of fear and, and, and timidity, but of power, love, and a sound mind or self-discipline. So what God is trying to tell us is that when we trust in him, that's when we have power. You can't trust in me. You can't trust in yourself, trust in other people. Unless those people are saying what God is saying. As long as the adult is speaking the word of God, they are speaking power to you. And that's what Jesus did, you know. When Jesus walked on the earth, he went about doing good because he had the power to do so. So I want you to know you have the power to do good. You have the power to be good. You have the power to be an excellent student. You have the power to be an excellent farmer. You have the power to be an excellent cook. All sorts of power. How do you become that powerful? You pray to God and ask God to help you to be brave and do what you need to do. You're not going to be scared about it. You're going to trust God. And so if you have a dream, if you want to become a doctor, a teacher, an engineer, whatever you want to become, you can do that. You have to pray to God to help you keep your grades up. 
be the very best student that you can be. And then you will find that you can become what you ask God you want to be. Our power comes from God. This cell phone loses power. God never loses power. And so God is all, always here to supply you with what you need so that you can do his will. We say it in the Lord's Prayer. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done. That's the Lord's Prayer. And when we line up with God, we believe God. Believe God. Believe God. Believe God. When we do, we are then empowered by his word. And we're brave about it too. And we're happy about it. And we do what God has called us to do. So if you get tired, if you get discouraged, if you become sad, well, you go and read God's word and God will strengthen you so that you can carry on. So remember, God has the power. God has all power. And we thank God and we glorify God for that. Amen. Brother Paul? Yeah. Thank you very much, Pastor. It was a good lesson, a good motivation. And we thank God for that. It was a good thing. We are motivated to trust in God in everything. Whatever it's hard, whatever it's difficult, we can always trust in God. Amen. So thank you for that great lesson. God bless you so much. Amen. So we are going to appreciate you with a clap. Okay. The one we call Pasha. It's my minute, Pasha. Pasha. Pasha, Pasha. Pasha, Pasha. Pasha, Pasha. Pasha, Pasha. Pasha. Thank you very much, Pasha. God uh, bless you so much. God bless you and thank you for listening. And as always, Brother Paul, thank you for reteaching the lesson uh so that they yeah. understand the lesson in full i really appreciate yeah. that i'm grateful for it um and so with that in mind i will pray and then we will see you god willing next week let's pray yeah. dear heavenly father we come to you again god we thank you thank you god for this time that we have spent together Thank you for the singing of the songs, for the repeating of the saying, the poem. And thank you for your word. And God, we understand that all power is with you. Now, God, I pray that you will encourage everyone at the home. Mom, Mary, Father John, our brother Paul, brother Calvin, the older teens. Encourage them, God, help them to see greatness because we trust in you. Protect us all, cover us with the precious blood of Jesus Christ. And God, the next time that we'll gather together, we will do so with joy. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. amen. Okay. All right. <laughs> God bless you all. We'll see you next time. Bye. 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 Take care. Love you all. Bye. 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 Bye.